Hi guys, so my name's Mershad, or you can call me Mersh. I'm uh, 28 years old. I am from the west of London, and I unfortunately sustained my ACL injury about seven months ago on the uh, weekend of my birthday. I am very interested to know how the different people watching this video not only sustain their injuries, but the kind of lives you lead. Me personally, I'm very, very sporty as a person, uh, especially playing football or soccer, depending on where you're watching this in the world. I play two 11-a-side matches a week, and then I also play two or three five-a-side games a week as well. I'm saying play and not played because I'm determined to be playing again after I recover. You are actually seeing me, uh, I know my eyes probably look absolutely dead, 24 hours. 24 hours after my ACL uh, reconstruction surgery so I still have loads of anesthetic and drugs circulating my system but I thought I would just give a little quick bite about who I am and uh, why I'm recording this video. The main reason behind me recording this video is because there are some great uh, videos and articles out there from people who have sustained these injuries normal people like me who um, have really actually helped others who've just got their injuries like myself understand where it's headed how to recover what to do and I just thought I would contribute my um, side to the experiences that I've had now in terms of the timeline that I've had. I got injured on July the 14th, 2018. We are now in February 2019. But straight after the uh, the moment I got injured, it was uh, me playing a game. I was playing in midfield. I stopped. My opponent stopped. Um, he had the ball. When he burst again, I tried to burst, but my foot got planted on the floor, but my knee turned. Uh, everything tore to shreds. I can still remember it. But the point is that I kept walking on it because I didn't want it to swell up because I knew it would. But the moment I got to the hospital, every minute I looked at it, it just got bigger and bigger until the time uh, came to actually see the doctor. And it was absolutely huge. To give you some actual numbers, my kneecap is about 9.8 centimetres. It inflated to 38 centimetres. That was just the top half of my knee, the curvature of it. It was absolutely hideous um, if I can dig out some pictures I will show you for those of you who want to see it um, but the point was that after the swelling had gone down life was actually pretty good I'm able to do almost everything apart from play sport just because of the agility that I don't have because I can't twist on this knee but in terms of strength anything where I'm straight or have any lateral movement I'm really really strong actually I can squat about 100 kilograms i don't know what that is in pounds but it's pretty heavy and then uh, i can also do a lot of spinning and cycling as well the issue i've had is that i like competing whether it's i play a lot of football obviously but i also play a lot of badminton as well um and tennis as and when i can those things have just gone completely out the window and because of that it's been really hard to uh keep off the pounds because I eat in the sense of I burn a lot of calories because of the amount of sport I play, so it balances out. Problem is, now the sport's gone, I don't know how to reduce the food, so this face is a lot bigger than it once was, and I think that's something you need to take into account. If you're already very regimented, then you'll be fine, but if you're like me, who eats in terms of input because of the amount of output, you will find it tough. Um, but apart from that, no, I've, uh, I'm from the UK, so we have a free healthcare system, which is great because of how expensive the surgery would be, but it also means that it comes with a very stretched out timeline and the operation was obviously seven months afterwards. But what it did allow me to do was it allowed me to get into a headspace of rather than rushing to come back, I was actually ready to move forward with my life without football and have other things that filled the void rather than just feeling sorry for myself and I think only time helps that sometimes because you need that stage where you're really annoyed and really angry you can't compete in the sport you can play in um, 
but no, that stage is done now. I have a massive brace across my on my leg at the moment. Uh, the next video will show you all of that. But what I'm interested to know is where you guys are from, how you guys sustained your injuries. And I'm not a medic personally. I work in commercial uh, for an airline. But the point is that how do you guys, whether you're post-op or whether you're pre-op, what are the things that are keeping you going? And just for me, uh, the things that are keeping me going are the things that I'm looking forward to. Now, I travel a lot. I like to see a lot of the world, not always conventional places. So I'm, I haven't been able to do that as much. And the other thing is that I'm coming to the USA. I've been to New York three times this year, but they're more city break kind of uh, things. Whereas this time I'm going to be going to Pennsylvania to the Poconos, I think that's how you pronounce it. My cousins and my friends make fun of me all the time because I'm not from the US, I always say it wrong. But there's 15 of us going uh, whitewater rafting, shooting, quad biking, and all of those things obviously require a very healthy knee. So I have a realistic and very uh, tangible timeline for how I'm gonna do this. Uh, after that trip, which is gonna be mid-June, so about four months from now, after that trip, I'll slowly be um, working my way towards playing football. So doing a lot more drills, trying starting to do some agility work. And then my target personally is by about September, October to at least be kicking the ball around and then by November and December playing again. And then of course by January, full pelt back to club football. So I have my uh, timeline set out. What I would love to know is who you guys are, and I'm very grateful that you guys are watching. What I hope most is that these videos will help you get an idea of what you're going to experience. And on the next video, you will see my neck brace, all of the anesthesia stuff as well. So I do hope it helps, and it's a pleasure to meet you.